Hello everyone, welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we decode the toughest of stocks with the simplest technical patterns. So today we are going to look at a large cap industry. The name of the industry is called as Narayana Hridalya and it belongs to the healthcare segment as well. So if we look at the market capitalization of Narayana Hridalya, it's around uh, 21,168 crores. So it is well above the 20,000 crore mark. So that puts Narayana into a large cap industry segment. And if you look at the business model, these guys are into the healthcare segment. And as on today, that is November 2023, they are holding almost 47 hospitals under their name. And all of those hosp hospitals are basically multi-speciality hospitals. And they also have one uh, multi-speciality hospital that is located in northern northern part of America as well. And uh, as per the management uh, you know, info, they are planning to uh, acquire two more uh, hospitals from around uh, the state around American states so that's basically going they are basically trying to expand into foreign countries as well and this is just a stepping stone for them so if you look and the on the you know uh, further future perspective I believe this particular company can be a global uh, dominating presence as well so that is how much potential I see Narayana Hridalya having in the long-term viewpoint and as on today they are having almost 47 hospitals under their name and uh, almost 6800 beds uh, within those 40 zone hospitals out of which uh, 6200 are still operational and if you look at the treatment process it's basically a multi-specialty hospital but uh, earlier they started under a cardiac and uh, renal uh, uh, type of treatment so in case if you are uh, un unaware of cardiac it's basically uh, uh, has to do something with your heart and uh, renal it's basically kidney failure so you might have heard of the term renal failure so that's basically kidney failures so they were experts in uh, heart treatments and uh, kidney treatments as well but later on they started moving into other areas of medicine like uh, neuro uh, brain and etc and etc so as of today they are having a uh, 47 multi uh, specialty hospitals that is uh, you know focusing on uh, uh, that is focus that uh, those are experts on cardiac as well as renal as well as neuro treatments as well so overall the business model of Narana Hridalya is really good and uh, I believe this particular company can be a potential multi bagger also in the farther future. So moving on to the technical sorry fundamental viewpoint the stock PE ratio is at a whooping 70.1% so that pretty much shows how much uh, the price to earning ratio is and that pretty much shows how much uh, this particular company is strong in the domestic as well as in the international markets as well. And if you look at the book value it is at uh, 71 rupees and the current market price is a thousand uh, 36 rupees so that's basically more than uh, 10 times uh, difference so that is obviously going to happen because these guys are uh, in the league run to become uh, you know the market leader in healthcare segment and if you look at the face value it is at 10 rupees and the stock ROC and ROE is at basically 22.7 and 19.2 so that's pretty much above 15 percentage and that is a positive sign as well. So moving on to the quarterly results, this is the quarterly results I'm showing over here, standalone quarterly results. And if, if you look over here, the company, uh, no, uh, it is generating consistent amount of profits. Obviously, uh, for the past uh, three quarters, it made uh, almost a good amount of losses, but it is offset by the company's profit in the coming uh, seven quarters as well. And the company, once again, came into profitable ways. And this is a profit and loss statement for the last 10 years. If you look over the company generating consistent profits and the profits has been consistently increasing. So as on March 2023, they recorded a profit high of almost 266 crores. And uh, this company basically paid out a dividend of almost 19 percentage in the period of March 2023. And the compounded sales growth has been going at an uh, average pace of 14% for the last 10 years. And profit has been growing at an average pace of 30% uh, for the last 10 years. But the return on equity is basically low. So if you are investing in this particular stock right now, and uh, if you are selling it on the next year, then basically you will be getting a returns of almost only 7% on an average basis. So that is the meaning of return on equity. But don't be worried. We still have a good technical pattern that is formed in the current market scenario. And we can make almost 10 to 12% returns just within a short span of two months so that will be moving that will be seeing when we are looking at the technical chart so finally coming to the borrowings so the borrowings basically represent the debt that is incurred by the company so as on March 2023 they're holding a debt of almost 644 crores but this is very much negligible because it's a large cap industry with a market capitalization of more than 20,000 crores and if you look at the reserves as well it's basically around 1,264 crores so that's basically uh, twice the depth that is uh, having uh, that Narayana is having so that basically gives us on a positive scope that yes having debt once again 
it's going to have some tax benefits but at the same time the company should be in a strong position to repay that debt in case of any adverse situations so over here looking at the balance sheet i'm i'm pretty confident that uh, naranak ha- can you know repay this debt just within a single year as well so that is not a big worrying sign and finally coming to the shareholding pattern the promoters are holding almost 63.85 percentage shares and it has not changed for the last 10 quarters so this is a huge positive sign for when you are looking into a long term investment in any particular stock and now coming to the fis so the fis have been net buyers for the last uh, 10 quarters in december 2020 they were holding almost uh, 8.95 percentage shares and as on september 2023 they, they are holding almost 11.6 percent so that's basically a 2 percent jump in the promoter share holding pattern 2 to 3 percent jump in the promoter's uh, holding pattern by the sorry in, by the institutions and coming to the dis the dis have been net sellers and uh, they have reduced the risk by almost a 10 percent for the last uh, 10 quarters but still combined together both fis and dis are holding almost 22 percent so that's a pretty good sign as well so overall from the fundamental view point i believe it's a good uh, buy op- buying opportunity for a long term period as well as for a short term investment as well so it's a green signal for buy opportunity so moving on to the technical chart this is a daily time frame chart that i'm showing over here and the uh, first thing we need to do is we need to plot the support and resistance so over here i see this particular zone as a strong level of support <coughs> So this is a strong level of support. The stock continuously uh, uh, made support over here. Once again, it took support over here and it reversed. And once again over here, it took support and it reversed. So this particular zone is going to mark as a strong level of support. So from the support and resistance level, we have a clear cut support and we also have a reversal in this particular stock. So the stock can be can expect the stock to reach new highs in the coming few days. But this is not the only pattern that is formed. I also see a symmetric triangle pattern. So this is a symmetric triangle pattern that I see in this particular stock. And if you look over here, the stock made a clear cut breakout on 12th of September and it made a retest on 13th of September and from there the stock skyrocketed by almost uh, close to 110 points. So 110 points rise just within a short span of uh, 15 to 20 days. So that's how much potential this particular stock has. And now due to Nifty's uh, selling pressure for the last, uh, you know, the week before, we could see the stock also coming down. And once again, it is uh, coming down to touch the support zone of almost 980. So from the current market price, it's also a really good opportunity for us to buy because the target is not yet done. And uh, so coming to my enterprise, my enterprise is going to be buy and dip still 1000. So 1000 is going to be my best buying zone and the current market price is 1037 rupees. So I'm going to keep on adding it to dip still 1000 for a target of almost 1150. So this is going to be a swing or a positional type of a trading setup. So stop loss you can keep below uh, 960. So somewhere around 960 can be a good level of stop loss. And from the current market price, that is from the best buying zone, I'm looking at a returns of almost 15 percentage from this particular stock. So this is going to be my return on investment. Now, if you look at, uh, if you recall what I said in the fundamental uh, part of the video earlier, uh, this stock has an average returns of almost 7 percentage on a year on year basis. But if you time the market and if you, uh, you know, identify a good pattern that is formed and if you take your entry at a good level of uh, time, then you can make good amount of returns uh, that is far exceeding the average, uh, you know, returns of uh, this particular stock on a year on year basis. So over here, we are expecting a returns of almost 15 percentage just within a short span of two months that is 60 days and your expected returns is going to be 15 percent so that much potential this particular stock has and i believe the chances are almost 85 percentage for this particular stock to give our targets of almost 1150 okay so coming to the risk reward so let's say like this is going to be my so i'll calculate it from the best buying zone so this is going to be the current market price and uh, this is going to be my uh, stop loss. So around uh, 960 is going to be my stop loss and this is going to be my target. So even from the current market price, I'm looking at a risk reward of almost 1 is to uh, 6, 6 point, 1 is to 66. So basically for a risk of 1 point, my reward is going to be 1.6 points. And in case if the stock is coming down to my best buying zone of 1000, then I'm looking at a risk reward of almost 1 is to 3.8. So rounded up, it's going to be 1 is to 4. So for a risk of 1 point, my reward is going to be 4 points. And that's basically going to be a stop loss of almost 40 points for a target of almost 150 points. So that is the risk reward what we are going to maintain in this particular stock. All right. So uh, 
it's a good stock to hold and the fundamentals of the stock is also really strong and we also have a good technical pattern that is formed so i believe the probability of this particular stock to give a target of 1150 is on the high side of uh, you know 85 percentage so it's a good script to hold so yeah that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on nara nahrudulia i hope this uh, video was useful and i hope you learned some informative things from this video if you like my analysis please do click on the like button and if you really want to support our channel please do consider subscribing to our channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video till then it's bye from chris take care bye bye and thank you for watching